Today I'm going to show you how to make easy individual baked Alaskas. This is a real simple dessert and a wonderful way to use up leftover brownies. Of course, leftover brownies can be hard to come by. They tend to get eaten real quick. You can check out my YouTube video on how to make brownies if you don't know how to make them. So I'm going to have my pre-baked brownies here. I've got some orange sherbet. You could also use lime sherbet, rainbow sherbet, regular ice cream, whatever you'd liked. And instead of a brownie, you could actually use blondies or chocolate chip cookies, any, any kind of cookie or cake base. I'll also need an eighth of a cup of sugar and one egg white for every two individual baked Alaskas that I'm making. So I'm going to start by cutting my brownies. I've got a three inch cookie cutter here. You can use a three inch, two and a half inch, anything that works. Uh, you can just cut them with a knife into squares, however works. But I'm going to go ahead and cut out two uh, brownies and I'm just going to put them on a plate here. I can get them back out. So there's one and we're going to cut out our second one and pop that on the plate. And I'm going to put a scoop of orange sherbet on each of these. So I've got these over here. And then once I put the orange sherbet on them, I'm going to put them in the freezer for at least 20 to 30 minutes. But not more than two to three hours or your base will freeze a little too solid. So I'm going to take a nice scoop there. Put a pretty little scoop. Tuck that in good. And we'll make another scoop. And we'll put him there. So I've got these all ready. I'm going to just cover them with a little bit of foil. And I'm going to put these in my freezer for, as I said, at least 20 to 30 minutes. And but no more than two to three hours. So that can be prepared a little bit ahead of time. And actually, I need to probably put my orange sherbet back in the freezer as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get my egg separated and ready to go. It's okay to let your egg come up to room temperature. And I have, as I said, I'm going to be making two individual baked Alaska, so I'll have one egg white and one eighth of a cup of sugar. So I'm going to separate my egg now. And if you've never separated an egg before, it's pretty easy. There's a lot of ways you can do it. I like to just crack it in half. Some people throw it back and forth between the thing, but I find it easier to just pour it right in your hand, let all the egg go out, and just let it, the uh, excess, excess white go through your fingers. Of course, it helps to have a little bowl handy to put the yolk in when you're done. So I've got my egg white separated. I just need one because I'm only making two of these. And we'll put that here in our mixer so that's ready to go. And our whisk attachment in there. As I said, I'll also use one eighth of a cup of sugar when I'm I'm going to make a meringue out of this egg white and ice the baked Alaska with that. So I can move these out of the way. I'm going to turn my oven on to 500 degrees so that can preheat. I need to put this in a very hot oven. So let's get our oven started. 500 degrees. And now at this point, we're just going to wait, as I said, 20, 30 minutes. Let that stay in the freezer, freeze up nice and hard. Let our oven come to temp. And when we come back, we will whip up the egg whites into a meringue and then ice the baked Alaskas with the meringue and pop them in the oven for a couple of minutes. Okay, our oven is up to temperature. Our next step is to make our meringue. So we've already separated our egg white. I've got it in the bowl. I've got my whisk attachment there. 
and uh, you could use a regular mixer as well uh, if that's all you have. So I'm going to beat this for a couple of minutes until the egg whites start to get stiff and then I will slowly add my sugar. <laughs> You can see the egg whites are starting to stiffen. If I lower this down, you'll see that they're forming a peak in there. So uh, we're going to slowly add our sugar. Keep it on high speed here and slowly add our sugar. going to let that beat another minute after we add the sugar. So, our egg whites look pretty good here. We've got soft peaks, but nice peaks there. So, I'm going to get my spatula out. I'm going to get my egg whites all down in the center and roughly divide it in half. Uh, once I get my, uh, once I get the brownies with the ice cream or the orange sherbet out of the freezer, you need to work very quickly to cover them with the egg whites and then get them into your oven. So get everything ready, figure out how much you're going to put on them, you know, kind of get it divided in pieces. If you want it to be more fancy, you could put your egg whites in a bag with a star tip and pipe them away on them, but I'm going to just uh spread it on with a spatula so i've got my egg whites already kind of divided in half i'm going to grab my brownies out of the freezer again you could use blondies you could use chocolate chip cookies you could use whatever flavor of ice cream you want put them on your baking sheet or in this case i've got a cast iron griddle i'm going to be using and I'm going to put half of the meringue on each one of these. And you need to make sure the meringue covers the all of the ice cream or sherbet and that it touches down to the brownie and seals. So the ice cream is going to act like a little bit of an insulation or a case around the ice cream so that it doesn't melt while you've got it in the oven. So you need to make sure everything is covered and it seals all the way down to that brownie and that no ice cream is hanging out. And you can take your spatula and add a few extra points there to try and decorate that up some. So we'll take the rest of our meringue and we'll call that on, whoops, Baked Alaska number two. And the same thing. Make sure everything is covered and that our meringue seals down to the brownie. Again, want to work reasonably quickly here. Make sure all of that ice cream is covered. 
and that we're sealing down to the brownie. So you gotta get make sure all those little gaps you get take them care of there. Get all of them covered. Try and get a few little points there, make it a little more decorative. Okay, once you've got it all covered, it's going to go into the oven. We're putting it in a 500 degree oven. This is only going to cook for about three minutes. The less you have, the longer it's going to take, or the, the fewer items it's going to cook quicker. So I'm going to set my timer for three minutes. And I'm also going to put my oven light on so that I can actually watch these in the oven because they can cook really quick. I'll see you in about two minutes. We're actually at about a minute and a half here. It's not been quite two minutes, but I think these are starting to look done. We've got a nice delicate brown on all of these. So I'm going to plate them. Have a spatula and your plates ready. And we will plate them. And we are ready to go. cut into one of these so you can see just how scrumptious they look. Oops. There are your individual baked Alaskas. You can do them with whatever flavor ice cream or sherbet you like. Guaranteed to be a crowd pleaser. are so tasty. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. If so, please like and share and happy baking.